Hello fellows, let's discover our topic for today. Scene 2, Matter and Energy. Concept 2, Energy and Motion. In last concept, we, uh, we talked about uh, the relation between motion, energy and work. And now, now we are going to talk about the relation between motion and energy. And also in last concept, we said the definition of motion. That was uh, any object that uh, changes its position uh, related to a fixed point, so it means it is in motion. So here, the sand surfer moves very fast down the sand hill. The ball moves through the air when the player kicks it with his foot. The toy car at the top of slope or ramp will not move if no force is applied on it. So the conclusion here, all moving objects have a type of energy known as kinetic energy. So any object that moves have a type of energy, we call it kinetic energy. Objects that do not move don't have kinetic energy, but they have another type of energy known as potential energy that is stored inside them. When these objects start to move, they get kinetic energy. So now we have two types of energy, uh, one uh, uh, while the objects are moving and we call it kinetic energy and the other one uh, is found while uh, the object uh, is, uh, doesn't move uh, uh, and we call it potential energy and it is stored inside them. Roller coasters. In your opinion, which of the following energies are responsible for the movement of the roller coaster? All three. A. Kinetic energy and light energy. B. Potential and sound. C. Electric and kinetic. D. Sound and thermal. Yes, for sure it's electric and kinetic. So how does the roller coaster move and what is the source? of its kinetic energy. The roller coaster moves up rapidly, then its speed decreases gradually until it reaches the highest point. Then it pulls briefly at the top of the hill or ramp. Then the speed of the train will increase as it moves down the hill. But we need more ex explanation. What is the source of energy? How the roller coaster first move. As the roller coaster moves up the hill, there are electric motors that are used to carry the train cars up to the top of the hill. So to start moving the roller coaster, it needs electric energy. And while moving upward, so we said that kinetic energy is the type of energy found while moving. So kinetic energy is found in the roller coaster while moving up. And at the highest point, it will stop uh, briefly on the top of the head or the ramp. So now it's changing to the other type of energy that we call potential, potential energy. And then it will move down the hill. While moving down, of course, uh, uh, everyone knows uh, when we are moving with the roller coaster down, it speeds up. The kinetic energy increases and the speed increases. So at the top of the hill, the train stores some energy, which is potential energy, during its rising. As the roller coaster moves down the hill, the energy stored in the train or potential energy changes into a more active form that we call kinetic energy, that helps it move down. So the train doesn't need electricity 
while moving down. Note, while the roller coaster moves down the hill, the kinetic energy increases as its speed increases. And this is the totally opposite while the train is moving upward. When the roller coaster starts to move and moving upward, the uh, kinetic energy uh, and the speed decreases gradually until it reaches the high spot. Conclusion. When the roller coaster moves downward, its kinetic energy increases and the speed increases. So let's check your understanding. What happens if a roller coaster moves from up to down according to its energy? So from up, it means it is storing which energy? Exactly, stored potential energy in the train will change into kinetic energy. The roller coaster stops according to its kinetic energy. It means what happens to the kinetic energy if a roller coaster stops? Of course, when it stops, there is no kinetic energy anymore. So its kinetic energy becomes zero. True or false? Number one. Kinetic energy of a moving object increases as its speed increases. Of course, it's true. We said that by increasing the kinetic energy, the speed increases as well. Number two, when a roller coaster moves from up to down, it has the most kinetic energy. When it reach, reaches the lowest point of the hill, we said that from up to down, the kinetic energy will increase but it's not gonna be the most kinetic energy when it reaches the lowest point. In the lowest point of the hill, it means that it's stopped. Or it's the, the lowest kinetic energy. Number three, when the roller coaster moves downward, its kinetic energy decreases. And make sure that you uh, Make sure to underline the word to, uh, to be sure if it decreases or increases because it, it's the totally opposite. Uh, so here, decreases means um, becomes less. So if the roller coaster move, moves downward, the kinetic energy becomes less, of course not. It increases and it speeds up. Lesson 2. Energy and motion. Do you think which picture needs uh, energy to do these activities? For sure, all of them need energy to do these activities. The only difference here is that the girl scro scrolling on the, uh, the tablet uh, needs the less energy to do these activities, while the other needs more activity the more, more energy to do these activities. So we need energy to do all our act, uh, daily activities such as running, walking, reading a book, scrolling on the tab, and even thinking. Imagine that you have um, a very long day at school and you are coming back and you didn't have your breakfast and you, you didn't take your lunch yet and uh, anyone ask you to, uh, uh, to read a book or to study your lesson, or to do your homework. Of course it's gonna be hard. Why is hard? Because you don't have any energy to do so. Even uh, if it, it, it needs uh, uh, the, the less uh, energy to do it. So energy is part of everything that happens in the world, and everything we do. And what is the source of energy? Who remember from the previous theme? Of course, the sun is the source of energy. The sun is the main source of energy on Earth. So examples show the importance of energy in our life. We eat food to obtain energy to help us grow and move.
Energy affects objects and makes them move and change their places. Also, energy helps in operating all electric devices. Without electric energy, they cannot operate. And energy helps in cooking. So without thermal energy, we cannot cook. Without heat energy, we cannot cook. Moving energy. Energy moves, transfers from an object to another. It means, in this example, a player kicks a ball. The kinetic energy transfers from the player's foot to the ball. So first, the ball have, or the player has a kinetic energy while moving his leg. This kinetic energy transforms to the ball and takes this kinetic energy and moves. So the kinetic energy transfers from the, uh, the player's leg or the player's foot to the ball. Then the ball moves in the air as a result of the transfer of kinetic energy. Then the kinetic energy transfers from the ball to the goal net. As you see in the picture here, uh, the, the net vibrates as a result of the transfer of kinetic energy to it. And also the ball bends the, the net uh, while um, hitting it. So what? Any stop object on the Earth's surface has no energy. So if we have a ball stop on the Earth's surface, so it has no energy. While any object at a height from the Earth has a special type of energy known as potential energy. What does it mean? It means do all uh, uh, objects that don't move has no energy? No. Only objects that found on the surface of the Earth have no energy. While any other object that doesn't move but it's, it's found on a height from the Earth's surface, so it has the potential energy. It's storing potential energy in it. So true or false? Energy affects objects and makes them move and change their places. Two. Two. Energy doesn't transfer from an object to another. Exactly, it's false. Energy basics. There is a relation between energy, force, and work, as we said before. Force is something that changes energy to make it able to do work. And we said force, uh, push or pull. Energy is the ability to do work or cause change. And work is the force that causes an object to move a distance. Example to show the relation between energy and work. When a football player kicks a ball, the force of his kick causes the ball to move in different direction. Thus, the player does work and he consumes energy. When by moving the ball, it means that the player do, do work and he consumes energy to do this work that he had obtained from food to move his leg. So this energy we get from eating food. So the work done by this player causes the ball to move. Facts about energy. Energy can be stored and changed from one form into another. Example, when you hold a ball, it stored potential energy. When you let it fall down to the ground, the ball is moving with the potential energy stored in its changes. It is changed into kinetic energy. So again, while holding the ball, it stored potential energy. Why? We said any uh, object found on a height of the Earth's surface is storing potential energy. And when you drop the ball, 
So this potential energy transfer or change to kinetic energy while moving to, uh, down to the Earth. Most form of energy can be seen. Example, sound energy, thermal energy, electrical energy, and chemical energy are forms of energy that can be seen. We can see and measure that energy, what energy can do. Example, when you push a wooden box and this box moves, this means that the energy transfers from you to the box and also can be measured through the distance that the box is moving. So we can now measure the distance uh, that the box moves to know or to measure the amount of energy. Complete the following. Number one, the ability to do work is known as energy. Number two, the force that causes an object to move a distance is known as work. True or false? Number one, energy doesn't change from one form into another form. False, of course, because we said that energy always transfers from one form to another, or from one body to another. Number two, when you push a wall, and this wall doesn't move, this means that you does work false, exactly because we said that uh, we only said that we do work when the objects move. But if this object doesn't move, it means that it, it didn't do. Number three, the person who pushes a car forward and this car moves, this means that the person consumes energy? For sure, because he needs energy to push the car. So he consumes energy to push the car forward. Kinetic and potential energy. So scientists classify energy into two main types of energy, potential and kinetic. And as we defined them before, potential is the amount of energy stored in an object due to its position. Uh, while kinetic energy is the energy of an object due to its motion. And we took an example for the potential. The ball has potential energy stored in it when you lift, lift it up away from the Earth's surface. An example for the kinetic, uh, the ball has kinetic energy when you let it fall down to the ground. Now let's see how the potential energy can be changed into kinetic energy. In this example, Acrobat 1 on the tower has potential energy. When he jumps down, his potential energy is converted into kinetic. Number three, kinetic energy of acrobat one transferred to acrobat two, who is standing on the seesaw and causes him to push it, push up into the air. During the movement of acrobat two up in the air, his kinetic energy is converted gradually into potential energy. Note, when an object has potential energy, so this object is ready to do work or to be active. As the height of an object from the Earth's surface increases, potential energy stored inside this object increases. Let's explain it one more time. First, uh, the first player uh, has potential energy when he was standing up uh, uh, with the height from the Earth's surface. Then this potential energy stored inside the player transferred into kinetic energy 
while moving down. Then this kinetic energy transfers from the plane one to the seesaw, and then from the seesaw to the second player, and from uh, the second player, kinetic energy moves up. At the top, uh, for the second player, the kinetic energy is transformed back into potential energy. But why at this point, the player 2 transfer its kinetic energy into potential energy? Okay, some of you know the answer. It's because of the gravity force that we talked about before. The gravity force pull the player to down. That's why it transform from kinetic into potential. And now the gravity pull the player back to the ground. And this uh, process will uh, continue to happen until they stop. Lesson 3. Forms of potential and kinetic energy. First, the ball has potential or kinetic energy while holding the ball. Of course, it has potential energy. Why? Because it doesn't move and it's found on a height from the Earth's surface. The moving bike has, of course, it has kinetic energy because it's moving. Let's start with the forms of potential energy. Potential energy has two forms, gravitational potential energy and chemical potential energy. Gravitational potential energy, like the energy stored uh, in a roller coaster at the top of a hill. So at the top of a hill, it is storing gravitational potential energy. And chemical potential energy, like the energy stored in batteries. There's chemicals found inside the battery. Uh, it's a form of energy uh, that is, it could be stored. And it's a potential energy. And also, like the food we eat. Note, chemical energy in battery is not used until the battery is connected to a device. It means, if you have a battery, it's storing chemical energy until you use it and it will transform into electric energy. Two, when a spring is compressed, it stores potential energy inside it. Also, here in the spring, if you press it, it, it stores potential energy. Uh, of course, we all play uh, with spring before. And uh, if you press a spring and let it go, it, it's gonna uh, jump. Why? Because it stored first potential energy, and we, we call it elastic potential energy. It is also a form of potential energy that could be stored and transformed into kinetic energy. Factors affecting potential energy of an object. First, mass. By increasing the mass, the potential energy increases. So, as we can see, these balls didn't reach the end at the same time. Why? Because they have different masses. So, which one will reach uh, the end first? Of course, the one with the larger mass will uh, reach the end first. Why? Because it has the most potential energy. So by increasing the mass, you increase the potential energy. And by increasing the potential energy, it increases the kinetic energy. And by increasing the kinetic energy, the speed increases. So first, uh, mass increases. Potential energy increases, kinetic energy increases, and finally speed increases. So the first one will reach the end, 
is the one with the bigger mass. Example, bone one has mass of 500 gram, has a greater potential energy than bone two that has mass of 40 grams. The second factor here is height. By increasing the height from the Earth's surface, the potential energy increases. It means the bone one at height one meter has a greater potential energy than bone two at height two meters. So by increasing the height, the potential energy increases. And of course, you can all relate uh, when you go to uh, an aqua park and choose uh, the highest slide uh, to be the harder uh, experience. Forms of kinetic energy. Number one, sound energy. As movement of sound waves in the air. Two, light energy. It moves also in the air. Three, electrical energy. Also electric energy are moving through wires. Number four, thermal energy. Vibration of particles in a substance during heating. So these four energies are kinetic energy. Why? Because all of them are moving. The sound can move. Like when someone is uh, uh, turning uh, the sound high and you can uh, hear the sound from another room. Why you can hear the sound? Because the sound moves. So it's kinetic energy. Also light, if you are uh, uh, pointing uh, with a, a laser pointer to a cat, uh, you can find the, the laser on the wall. Why? Because the light travels from your hand, from the, the, the flash pointer to the wall. Uh, also electric energy, uh, when we uh, connect the, the socket to the wires, uh, the electric energy uh, moves to uh, the TV or the laptop, so the electric energy are moving from the wires to the device. And finally, thermal energy. If you are holding any metal uh, uh, and put it on a source of fire, after a while you will feel the heat. Why you will feel the heat? Because the, uh, the thermal energy is moving until it reaches your hand. So all these energies are moving, so we call them kinetic energy, so they are forms of kinetic energy. Energy is transformed or changed easily from one form into another, such as changing of potential energy into kinetic energy. We took examples before and let's take this one. A child at the top of a playground slide <coughs> has potential energy. When the child moves down along the slide, the potential energy changes into kinetic energy. Example 2. When the roller coaster is at the top of the hill, it stores potential energy. When it goes down the hill, it, its potential energy changes into kinetic energy. Complete. Uh, using gravity, kinetic, and potential. Number one, the force that pulls the egg to the ground is, of course, gravity. Number two, the egg has which energy as it falls down. Falls down means it's moving, so it's, of course, kinetic energy. The egg got which energy when it was in the boy's hand. So, why the egg was in the boy's hand? It was it doesn't move, so it stores potential energy. Types of energy. Energy is found everywhere around us. 
Energy in, is continuously changing and transforming from one form into another. And energy is transferred from one place to another or from one body to another. Such as when you kick a ball, energy moves from your leg to the ball. Some changes of potential energy into kinetic energy. And remember, it's sum of potential energy changes into kinetic energy. It means it's not necessary that all potential energy should be transferred into kinetic energy or transformed into kinetic energy. Uh, example number one, flashlight. The source of energy in the flashlight is batteries. In batteries, we said that they are storing chemical energy. So the changes here is from chemical into light energy and thermal energy. Uh, number two, the gas oven. Uh, the gas oven uh, using natural gas as a source of energy. The source of energy here is the natural gas. And also natural gas is considered as chemical energy that is used to, uh, to be transformed into thermal energy. So it's a chemical energy that is transformed into thermal energy. The spring of a power toy car. Uh, we just uh, talked about the spring and we said the spring is storing uh, potential energy and we call it uh, elastic potential energy uh, so it's a type of potential energy so the energy change here is from potential into kinetic when you use the spring and you let the car go it, it moves so it changes from potential into kinetic sound and thermal energy but why here it transformed into a thermal as well? You know, we, uh, we, we talked before about friction, remember? So while uh, the toy car is moving on the floor, the tire is making friction with the floor. And uh, making friction produces thermal energy. And finally, normal cars. Normal cars use gasoline as a source of energy. And also gasoline is uh, considered as a chemical energy. It's a chemical energy stored inside the car. So it changes from chemical into kinetic. Because we use the gasoline to move the car. So we change chemical into kinetic. Conclusion, energy can be stored in many different forms. So, energy cannot be created and also existing energy cannot be destroyed. Note, the food you eat also stores energy. Where your digestive system breaks down the food you eat and changes it into chemical energy stored in your body. So, we have more than one uh, type of chemical energy. Uh, food is considered as a chemical energy stored in your body. Gasoline is considered as chemical energy stored in the car, uh, natural gas uh, stored in the oven, and uh, chemical uh, uh, stored in the battery. So we are going to complete this table. Uh, you are going to uh, think about the energy changes in each example. First example, the ele electric fan. First you have to think. Uh, from to, from means which energy are going to operate this device and into means what is the energy produced from this device. So we have two types of energy in the change. Uh, energy that operates the device and energy is the purpose of this device. It's produced from this device. So here in this case, the electric fan is operated with which energy? Of course, it is operated by electrical energy. So, and what is the purpose from the fan? As you can see, the fan blades are moving. So it's which type of energy? Of course, it is kinetic energy. So in this case, in this example, uh, it changes from electric into kinetic. Number two, a doorbell. So how we operate a doorbell? 
as we said, uh, what is the energy that uh, operates this device? Also electric energy. So electric energy changes into what happens when you uh, 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 press the doorbell? Of course, it produces sound. So here, in this example, from electric into sound. Number three, radio. Also, how we operate the radio? We operate the radio with electric energy. So the change here from electric into what? What is the purpose from the radio? Is to listen to it. Okay, so listening to a sound energy exactly. So the change here from electric into sound. And finally, electric lamp. From its name, so it's obvious that it works with electric energy. So here, from electric energy into, what is the purpose from the uh, lamp? Of course, light. So the change here from electric into light energy. Easy life to make. You have learned a lot about different forms of energy and how they can transform from one form into another. Can we use this knowledge to design a tool that helps us to do work? Example, my tool, a robot hand. I want to design a robot hand to help me. Uh, what, what would be the function? Okay, I'm going to choose a function. I will choose to open the jar cap that is hard to be opened. The source of energy. I choose that the robot gets power from batteries when it is turned on. So the changes of form of energy inside the robot hand. Can we uh, predict the uh, changes of energy in this device inside the robot hand for sure first we said that it will be operated by batteries so the chemical energy stored in the robot that changes into electrical energy batteries will produce electric energy that changes into mechanical kinetic energy when the robot hand moves to open the jar Mechanical is a form of kinetic energy that is found in machines. So any machine moving, we call it mechanical kinetic energy. It's the same. When the robot hand moves to open the jar. So from chemical to electrical to mechanical kinetic energy. Conclusion. Energy is not created or destroyed when transferred from the battery to the robot hand. Energy is converted from one form to another, from chemical to kinetic or mechanical, when the robot hand opens the jar. And actually, this is the law of Einstein. Einstein said that energy, or he is he the, he the one that concluded that the energy is converted from one form to another, and it cannot be created nor destroyed.